Hi everyone, welcome to Field Pulse 360 Lite. My name is Libby and today we're going to talk about the Field Pulse features that can take your inventory management to the next level. Let's take a look. The first Field Pulse inventory feature we're going to take a look at is being able to reallocate inventory items in Field Pulse. Now, of course, you can manually move items between your hubs or the locations where you store inventory items, but reallocating them in Field Pulse using our system means that nothing will get lost and no manual errors will take place. Let's go ahead and open up an inventory item to take a look at how the reallocation process works. Once you're on your desired inventory item in Field Pulse, click on the purple boxes next to the hub where you'd like to reallocate inventory away from. You can now move inventory from this hub to another hub. Go ahead and adjust how many units of this inventory item you'd like to move to the other hub. When you do this, you notice that Field Pulse will automatically make some calculations for you. It will let you know the change in inventory at your original hub, the new inventory level there, how many units are being added to the other hub, and what that new level will be. This makes sure that nothing gets lost in the shuffle or is accidentally added or removed. When you're happy with the reallocation that you've made, press save. You'll now see that your inventory numbers have changed between your two hubs. Field Pulse has moved these inventory items for you and made sure that nothing was lost. As a reminder, you can only reallocate inventory items and they can only be moved between hubs when multiple hubs are used for a single inventory item. Now let's take a look at another Field Pulse inventory feature. This one is automatic replenishment. Instead of having to manually check every inventory item and place a purchase order when the item is running low, Field Pulse can do it for you. If you have multiple hubs for a single inventory item, you'll need to set up automatic replenishment for each one. When you're ready to set up automatic replenishment, click on the shopping cart icon and then begin to adjust your numbers. Field Pulse will show you a few key fields. The first is the inventory on hand. This lets you know how much inventory is currently stored at that hub. The next number is the auto reorder level. When your inventory hits this level, Field Pulse will automatically draft a purchase order to replenish the stock of this inventory item. It will replenish the stock of this item to the replenishment level that you set. In this example, we see that the current inventory amount is two units on hand. Our auto reorder level is one unit and our replenishment level is 10. That means when this inventory level hits one unit, Field Pulse will automatically create a draft purchase order to restore the inventory level to 10 units. This is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. When you use automatic replenishment, Field Pulse will create draft purchase orders but you'll still have the final say and confirm the purchase order before it's sent out. This process is meant to make things more efficient and automated so you always have a purchase order ready to go when an inventory item is running low. The last Field Pulse inventory feature that I think will take your inventory management to the next level is our inventory count feature. This allows you to take stock of inventory items and note any discrepancies between the quantity on hand and the quantity you have recorded in Field Pulse. This feature is key for a few reasons. It allows your business to keep more accurate records, creates accountability for your team members, and ensures there are no slowdowns in the process when completing a job with inventory items. To complete an inventory count, navigate to an inventory item in Field Pulse and then click on the clipboard icon next to the hub where you'd like to take count. Here you'll be able to see all of the previous counts that have been taken of this item at this hub and take your own count. When you take stock of this inventory item, you have two options. You can update the count without changing the hub quantity, or you can update the count and the quantity. My recommendation is to update both the count and the quantity so that your quantity going forward matches the actual amount that you have on hand. If you ever need to look back at an inventory count for a specific item or hub, you can take a look here or pull an inventory count report in Field Pulse. This will allow you to see all of the changes that have been made what the counts were, who took them, and when. This is much easier than writing things down on a piece of paper or letting things get lost. Everything is recorded and remembered for you by Field Pulse. Thanks for joining me to take a look at Field Pulse's inventory management features. If you're a Field Pulse customer and you'd like to learn more about this topic and other aspects of Field Pulse, join us for Field Pulse 360, which you can register for in our Help Center. If you're not a Field Pulse customer, register for a demo online today.
Thanks, and we'll see you next time.